All right, guys, so for this project, let's take a look at these two websites or these two web applications. So we have entertainment here as well as blog.boatluna.io. As you can see, these are already um, deployed. So these are deployed sites. Uh, if you look at this, this is already deployed. So we're not in localhost. We're in actual like uh, we're on a web app. So let's refresh this so you guys can see we're on a legit web application that I built out so what we're gonna do for this application is first we're gonna clean up this app meaning we're going to delete up uh, this server we're, so it's not gonna work anymore and then we're gonna go ahead and um, upload multiple servers to our VPS so this video is gonna show you how to clean up old apps meaning we're gonna remove old files from our VPS uh, we're gonna stop the PM2 and delete it and then uh, we're going to then uh, deploy multiple servers on our VPS so this is gonna show you how to do two things at once so for this what we're gonna do is um, what we're not gonna do is we're gonna bypass the host interface so within host injure, uh, we already created our subdomain, hence why you can see this is blog.boatluna.io and this is entertainment.boatluna.io. So I'm not going to show you how to create a subdomain. Uh, my last two videos on how to deploy uh, a server on Next.js and also how to deploy a Mern application shows you how to deploy, shows you how to create a subdomain. So I'm going to link that here. You can go ahead and check that out. But in order to start, we're going to go right into our terminal. So we're going to go into our VM code we're gonna open that up and I'm gonna SSH into my um, application I'm gonna SSH into my VPS awesome so I'm SSH into my VPS so I'm within my uh, VPS now and what we're gonna do is we're gonna say PM2 list and this is gonna list out all my uh, all the servers that are running on my PM2 on my uh, VPS sorry uh, via PM2 and as you can see we're gonna be working with entertainment and also uh, blog app so number zero and number six so what we're gonna say is PM2 stop blog app awesome as you can see blog app has been stopped we're also gonna say PM2 stop uh, entertainment as you can see both of those has been have been stopped so if we come back here let's see there we go there we go as uh, this it's basically the server stopped running so that's what we just did so we just stopped the server so now we can go ahead and say pm2 delete and this is going to be blog app awesome and we're going to say pm2 delete and this is going to be entertainment Great, so we just deleted that. Now we wanna make sure we uh, remove the old files. So we're gonna say LS and we have new blog here as well as um, Next.js. Uh, let's make sure we're deleting the right things here. We have a uh, new blog as well as Next.js, uh, Next App Project YouTube. So let's CD into Next App Project YouTube just to make sure Yep, that's the entertainment one. So uh, next app project YouTube is gonna get deleted. So let's go back to our root here. Clear, awesome. So we're gonna say RM, so let's list all the items first. So we're gonna say remove, uh, remove, and this is gonna be a uh, new blog. So we're deleting that. So that's gonna take a several seconds because that's gonna be uh, that's deleting all the files that correspond to the blog. Um, so we're gonna delete that permanently. And so after deleting that, we're gonna do the same thing for next app project YouTube because that's the one that corresponds with the entertainment. So let's give it a second. Um, it takes a little while. There we go. And now we're gonna do the same thing except this is gonna be for next uh, app project YouTube awesome so that's gonna be deleted uh, let's give it a second it does the same thing so here we're gonna have new blog deleted we're also gonna have next there we go uh, next app project YouTube deleted let's clear out of this and let's list everything so as you can see when we list it it's all gone now we want to remove our nginx configs and for those of you who don't know what nginx is it's basically our reverse 
proxy. So we're going to say sudo remove um, slash etc slash nginx slash sites enabled sites enabled slash uh, what was it called? New blog. So what did we call it? It was called blog or something like that. So, so a better way to do this is to uh, list all the files that are um, that are active or sim linked. So we're gonna say ls list slash etc slash nginx slash sites enabled. Awesome. So these are all the sites that are enabled that are enabled. So blog.boatluna.io. So we're gonna take this and copy it. Great. Uh, so we're gonna say um, sudo remove and paste that in there. And that's been removed. We're gonna say sudo remove and we're gonna find entertainment. We're gonna do the same thing. Great. Now when we so now let's see what what was the last command we did we did sites available um, now we're gonna make sure this is sites enabled so let's also do it for sites enabled enabled and then uh, that was for entertainment we're gonna do it for blog so sites enabled as well Great, so we're done removing the active configs. Um, so we didn't really need to automate it. There's a way to automate it, but because it's just two of them, we're done with that. So we can go on to the next step. So now what we wanna do is we wanna make directory blog, and then we're gonna make directory entertainment. Awesome, so after doing that, now we're just gonna CD into blog um, we're gonna after we CD into blog we're gonna state git clone and we're gonna come over here to our blog app our uh, git uh, github repo we're gonna copy that and we're just gonna clone it awesome now we're gonna list blog app oh, CD into blog app awesome and then uh, Within blog app, let's see, do we need, so we can see into blog as well, clear that out. So here we're gonna say vim.env, and here is where we're gonna place in our env variables. So I'm gonna do that off screen and get right back with you guys. Then we're gonna state npm install. So it's gonna, gonna, it's gonna go ahead and install everything. Awesome, now that that's done, we can say npm run build. Awesome, so the uh, application was built, so there was no issue with it, so we're all set. So now what we wanna do is we want to, um, we wanna start our server with PM2, so we're gonna say PM2 start NPM name is gonna be blog start. Okay, PM2 start NPM name blog start there we go so as you can see uh, blog has started so now what we want to do is we want to clone and build the entertainment app so we're going to clear out of this cd awesome so now uh, we're going to say cd entertainment we're gonna go ahead and get clone, and then we're gonna come over to our um, uh, Next.js entertainment app here. We're gonna copy this, and we're gonna come back here and clone it. Awesome, so that's been cloned. So let's list everything within it. So CD, Next.js YouTube, LS, CD entertainment. ls awesome so now all we're going to do is we're going to create a vim.env as well and we're going to place in our environmental variables 
So now that that's done, what we're going to say is npm install. Awesome. Now we're going to say npm run build. Great. Now we want to start it with pm2. So pm2 start npm. Name is going to be entertainment start. Awesome. So both of those are online now. So what we want to do is we want to configure our uh, Nginx reverse proxies. So we're going to say um, CD. We're going to say sudo nano slash etc slash nginx slash sites available slash blog available slash blog dot bolt luna.io awesome so as you can see we already have this in there um, so server name is blog dot bolt luna.io uh, it's running on localhost 1090 and we have a cert bot so um, we don't really need to do anything but if we do uh, all you need to do is add in the server to uh, server object and then it's just going to have server name blog.boatluna.io and this and then this is due to the cert bot there so we're just going to um, exit out of this and then we're going to enable our cert bot so we're going to say sudo um, um, ln actually I'm just going to paste it in there so let's clear this out and I'm going to paste that in. So this is what it's going to look like. So we're going to say sites available blog.boatluna.io slash etc nginx sites enabled blog.boatluna.io. We're going to enter that. And then we're going to do the same thing for uh, entertainment.boatluna.io. So we're going to come here and we're just going to change this to entertainment. Awesome. So I already have this as well. So uh, it's running on uh, 10,005. So this is good as well. So we're just going to stay. We're going to close out of that. We're going to clear out of this and then we're going to paste this in. And this is going to um, enable the entertainment.boatluna.io. So we're going to enter that. So here we're going to say sudo nginx test. Um, okay, test is successful. And then we're going to say sudo system. Uh, CTL reload nginx cool so now we want to uh, configure our firewall so we're just gonna paste all this in so we're gonna say sudo ufw allow ssh sudo ufw allow http sudo ufw allow https sudo ufw enable sudo ufw status we're gonna enter that and we're all set it's gonna say it may disrupt existing ssh connections we're gonna say yes that's fine and we're all set we're going to clear out of that so now after doing that we want to make sure that we have our cert bot so we already do but uh, we're just going to double check so we're going to uh, paste this in and it's going to be sudo cert bot nginx blog.boatluna.io sudo cert bot nginx d entertainment.boatluna.io um, we're going to enter that and let's see it should just tell us that yeah, see, do we want to renew it? Yeah, that's fine. We're just going to press 1. Uh, successful deployed that. Uh, do you want to renew this? 1. And successfully deployed. So now if we clear out of it, let's see our PM2 list. Everything says it's online. So let's go back to our browser here. And let's refresh this. Awesome. So this works. Let's refresh this awesome this works as well so we have just literally um, deployed two different servers uh, to our VPS two different applications to our VPS so this works perfectly um, everything here works uh, we can close out of all of this and that's it so before I go guys we're almost at 700 subscribers so if you guys don't mind hitting that subscribe button it will mean so much to me um, we, we can make it guys we're almost at 700 so I can't do it without your help so if you don't mind uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button like the video share it and that's it so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys on whatever video we decide to do next peace <laughs>